Greetings everyone! In today's video I'm going to create a simple graffiti from an image taken with camera. My background wheel is brick wall. It is our uh, first layer. The second uh, will be a human face. So I switch to the photo viewer and uh, here is a young woman what will be used for our graffiti. Firstly, we need to remove the background, so click on this icon here, the guided tools, and from the list select the background removal tool. The dialogues pop up and uh, removing this um, background is very easy for humans. There is one icon here, the object segmentation tool, if you click on it, if, uh, you can check that uh, the human is uh, selected, so it is enough to hit apply. The background is removed correctly. So now hit OK. Now we are back in the, our editor. If you see the background was changed, but not a problem, select the brick wall again and uh, click yes. We, we are want to create a virtual copy of this image. This image is created here. And now drag this image onto the brick wall. In this way we create another layer and name it a young woman. Okay. To change our young woman size, if you click on this selector tool and hit the corners, you can change the size and also the position of the image for our graffiti. Now I need to mix somehow this image with the background, so I will use the blending mode. Now I will use a multiply. As you see, our image is nicely uh, mixed with the background. Now I'm going to change the second image uh, into black and white, so I add a solid color layer with black color. Set the blending mode to hue. And uh, because I uh, want to change only on the second image, uh, right click on this solid color layer and select apply clipping mask. To change the um, intensity of the blacks and whites on this image, so I add an, another adjustment uh, layer and selecting the brightness and contrast contrast also by right clicking select the apply clipping mask so all the changes will be applied only our young woman and now we can adjust the coloring with this contrast and uh, brightness sliders To enhance our blacks on our graffiti, select the blending mode to linear dodge. Much better. If our gra graffiti is too realistic, we can change uh, with using some effects. So click on these uh, guided tools and select a style effect, for example. Uh, yes, because uh, we cannot apply effects on brighten and adjustment layer, so select the young woman layer and click again on style effect and we can uh, choose any style to enhance our graffiti. how to add some colors into our graffiti. I select the first adjustment layer and click on this add new layer icon and add an empty layer. This layer will be our color layer so I rename it for colors and now select the pen tool, the brush and color for the brush. I select this uh, blue, bluish color and now we can add a color to our 
graffiti. Now looks very good, but we can enhance our, of course this uh, blue color here with setting the blending mode to another. I will use this uh, vivid light or soft light. It is more realistic. Now I set a white color for eyes. I zoom in a little bit, change the size of my brush and apply, apply this light color here. Okay, in this case we are changing the background uh, colors because there is no clipping mask applied. Now I'm going to change these uh, young woman uh, pixels, so these blacks here. I set this layer because I need to add an, another uh, empty layer here. Change the order of these layers. The clipping mask uh, automatically applied, so any change on this layer will apply it on the young woman pixels. So I name it as Lady Pixels, pixel colors. And now, if I select any brush, brush and any color for them, maybe this blue one or this uh, rose drawing here now you can see that uh, it is not the best because this is a normal bending mode I change it to another one this lighten or this screen and that's mean that I can able to change the black color on our graffiti to anywhere, any other color. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more and see you in the next time. Bye.